Well, there is really not a reliable nationwide contemporary uh, large-scale study that could provide us reliable numbers, unfortunately. But there has been some efforts, and I'm sure a lot of healthcare providers are aware of some of these efforts. For example, uh, the Institute of Medicine, of course, in its report in 1999, uh, estimated that there is about uh, 90, there are about 98,000 people dying annually from medical errors, and this is 30-year-old data. So since then, there have been some attempts to review literature, uh, review studies that were much smaller scale, uh, and based on the results of those studies, for example, there was one published in the uh, uh, Journal of Patient Safety in 2013, the estimates are in the ballpark of 200 to 400,000 people die annually from medical errors. So these are deaths. Now there are some, uh, there are lots of people who suffer serious uh, consequences as a result of medical error, and those numbers are t 10 to 20 uh, fold higher. So we're talking about two to four million people annually that suffer serious um, serious uh, 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 consequences as a result of medical error. So if you look at these numbers, um, medical errors would easily qualify for number three cause of death in the United States. And uh, these numbers, in my opinion, are gross underestimates because uh, the studies that are available at this point are based on the majority of them are based on the review of medical charts and that's not taking into consideration um, that uh, the fact that a lot of uh, medical errors or mishaps do not get documented, never make it into the patient's charts and uh, really never off de detected or discovered. And um, there are some studies to suggest that 10 to 30 percent of autopsies actually discover misdiagnosis or wrong diagnosis. So that's one of the pieces of information that suggests that a lot of things we don't know as far as um, the magnitude of the problem. Yeah, it depends on what study you look at because studies vary in methodology. They vary in geographic areas. They cover in the, in the hospitals, uh, in the healthcare settings uh, where the studies are performed. But if we look at what is reported, so Joint Commission actually, uh, you know, uh, gets information from the accredited facilities, and based on the data from the Joint Commission. Uh, number one reportable sentinel event uh, is wrong surgery, wrong patient, wrong body part. And it really is astounding that in uh, this day and age, we still cannot operate on the right patient and take the correct organ or body part out. Um, it, it really is sad. The number two is uninten unintentional retention of a foreign body, and that is again during surgery. Number three is delayed diagnosis. Pediatric patients suffer from that greatly. Now, if you were to look at other studies beyond Joint Commission report, um, uh, medication-related errors, I would say, top the line. Um, ICU patients are at greatest risk for medication for suffering from a medication-related error. Um, there was a study that uh, used direct observation of healthcare workers in ICU that found that one in five medication dosages um, uh, administrations contained uh, basically suffered from an error. Um, Diagnosis-related errors also are very high. Uh, they're just uh, very difficult to detect in uh, research, so we don't really have a good measure.